so today we are doing a witchy fashion haul. We've got a little bit of everything. We've got some shoes, we've got some clothes, some bags, and we have some homeware stuff that I didn't actually get in my Halloween decor video. I got some of this stuff after I filmed that and posted it. So I've got some spooky homeware to show you as well. So we've got a little, and some books, but it's all a little bit witchy, a little bit spooky, a little bit of everything that we love. So let's just get into it. All right, so first up in our witchy fashion haul is Koi Footwear. This video is actually in partnership with Koi Footwear, which I'm super excited about because not only did they have some amazing witchy shoes, which I'm about to show you, but we are doing a little giveaway over on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my handle is Jade the Libra. You can head over there right now and find out how you can win a pair of Koi footwear, witchy, magical, amazing shoes. All right, so the first pair of shoes I got, these are giving me serious grungy witchy vibes. They're like a chunky platform ankle booty. Uh, meets combat boot, everything I look for in a fall boot and then some. Also worth mentioning, all of these are made of vegan leather. So uh, definitely an animal friendly option for all of us animal lovers out there. So I love that. But this boot right here is glorious. This might be my new favorite boot of 2018. These are super comfortable and easy to walk in. There is a little bit of a platform, but it's not you know, an impractical platform. The front has a platform as well, which makes it overall an easy walking experience. The boot itself is chunkier and then the toe is a little bit uh, squared off. It is round, but it's a little squared off. You know what I mean? Uh, and then the heel, it's just all about the heel for me on this. It is super chunky. It's also about this lace situation. These things, whatever these are, these metal hook things, I. Don't even know what these are called, but I love them. They come with the white laces on the boot, but they also come with black laces, which you know I'm living for. I'm actually really feeling the white laces. Super obsessed with it. These look like a designer boot to me. I'm living for it and I'm going to be wearing these every single day of my life until literally I have no feet left. All right, so the next boot that is also perfect for fall and winter is this, okay. I don't know how to describe this boot. Okay, I do know how to describe this boot, but there's only one word for it, really. I'm gonna show you first. So this is a approaching the knee area boot. So it's like a taller boot, but not, you know, over the knee or a thigh high boot by any means. It's kind of like a taller, lace up, chunky, boot, but what I'm gonna call it is the Daria boot. I'm 100% sure that this boot is not called the Daria boot, but I'm renaming it because it looks like it's straight out of Daria's closet. If you guys watched the 90s cartoon Daria, you just know. You're gonna see this boot and you're gonna be like, girl, that is literally her boot. Like it is probably like actually Daria's boot. And I would say I think so too. Similar to the other pair, this has a chunky heel platform situation going on as well, which you know I'm obsessed with because I am a sucker for a chunky heel or a platform. Uh, they are super easy to walk in. They are not too tall. I'm five foot 10. And these don't make me feel like I am the whole Koi wears over here making all my 90s dreams come true and I'm living for it. I'm here. <sighs> Feeling all the Daria vibes, telling you. All right, next. All right, so next up is exactly what I think of when I think of a fall witchy boot. Like this is the boot that pops up in my head, I feel like. Uh, this is just, it is a witchy boot. I have no other words for it. Uh, it is a kitten heel, pointy toe, suede feeling, full on, basically out of hocus pocus, witchy boot. It's not actually out of Hocus Pocus, but you know what I mean. Maybe I'm just feeling this way because I watched Hocus Pocus yesterday, but these remind me of something the Sanderson sisters would wear and I'm living for it. Uh, like I said, it is a little kitten heel lace up situation. It's got the classic witchy pointy toe and I'm loving everything about it. And it is lace up, but it does have a zipper on the side. So you don't have to struggle to get your foot in here. If you've been looking for the perfect witchy boot, give these a try or check them out because let me just tell you, they are screaming witchy boot to me. The whole lace up action, the kitten heel, the pointy toe. I keep saying that, but I can't get enough of these witchy boots. They are, they're so good. They are so perfect for fall too. 
All right, so next up is another witchy boot, go figure. I can't get enough. Uh, we had some grunge witch, we had a classic witch, and now we have a ballerina witch is what I'm gonna call this one. And it's like black swan meets hocus pocus. Really what's giving me the ballerina vibes is the lace up thing going on here. I am so in love with this ribbon as a shoelace. It weaves in and out of these gold little slat things. I don't know, these holes going up the shoe. And then the heel on this one is a little bit taller, still not overwhelming. Just gives you that little bit of height uh, without being a six inch heel or five inch heel where you just feel like you are on your tippy toes. Nothing like that. Last pair of boots that I got. Yes, I got all boots because I couldn't resist. These are like a Victorian-esque witch, but a little bit of rock and roll. You've got some floral action and you've got the studs. I don't know. I'm really into it though. But once I Again, this boot has a chunky heel, which you know I can't get enough of. Just a little bit of something, but not over the top. I also love that they did the classic kind of lace-up hook situation with this boot. So you, you know, the boots that you latch around and like kind of, I don't know, hook. This one also has a buckle and like I said, some studs on it. These are really comfortable too because this vegan leather on this shoe is very, very, very soft and flexible. So these are going to be super easy to break in and just be comfortable all around. That is it for Koi Footwear. Don't forget to check out my Instagram for some giveaway action happening here. All right, so moving on, this would not be a witchy haul if I did not mention Killstar. Killstar's fall stuff is killing me, pun intended. It's amazing. First thing I got from Killstar, I cannot get enough of these. Actually, you're not gonna be surprised when you see these because they're leggings. And if you've watched my hauls before, you know that I am obsessed with Killstar leggings. I cannot get enough. These right here that I got, I'm so excited about. The print on these, oh, the print is absolutely beautiful. This is actually one of their burnout style leggings and I love them because they are super stretchy, super comfortable and really lightweight on. If you don't know what their burnout styles are, Basically what it is, is they have a design on the leggings. So it will be like a black sheer. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the design is sheer and then the rest of the legging is this very soft velvety feel. Really stretchy as you can see. Really beautiful. You can see some of that shine there from the velvet kind of look. The print on these, seriously, the best ever. They have a moon and a star. They have moths all over it, which anything with a moth on it, I don't know what it is, but I'm totally sold. They have some leaves and some, what is that, like paisley looking stuff. They've got a flower with a moon in the center. I mean, there's just all sorts of amazing magical designs on these leggings. They are screaming witchy to me. Also really quickly on the sizing, I got an extra small in these. In terms of sizing overall, the super spandexy or the leather look leggings are not as forgiving as the uh, cottony, jersey, super stretch, look for those words in the description, or the burnout leggings. All of those are really forgiving. You can see here these burnout ones are really forgiving. They do have a lot of stretch and they're very airy and light. So I know with these that I can size down, so I got an extra small in these. All right, so next I got the cutest, witchiest little kind of Wednesday Adams type of dress and I cannot get enough of it. I'm so obsessed with this. It is this two-piece set, it comes together, uh, and it's a dress overall is what it is. I don't know why I'm making this so complicated. Anyways, it's a pinafore dress. It's got two little buttons in the front, so it kind of, you know, resembles that kind of overall dress thing I was just talking about. It's also got a pocket in the front. Uh, the strap situation is probably my favorite thing ever. Uh, they have a tasteful ruffle, if you know what I mean. And the reason I love this ruffle so much, uh, you can kind of see it on this top actually. This top is also from Killstar. But you can see that the ruffle kind of gives this pointed shoulder look, which I'm obsessed with. Okay, so the ruffle on this does something similar. It gives this look of a little pointy shoulder, which gives this witchy meets Wednesday Adams meets all of my wildest dreams coming true. Anyways, the best part of this whole dress and what makes it even more Wednesday Adams ish is this top that comes with it and this top. It's this mesh little cropped tee. It's kind of like a fishnet kind of 
look to it and I don't know it's so good it okay the best part about the whole thing let's just be honest is the collar on this this stark white super sharp structured amazing collar with this top and this dress it is screaming Wednesday Adams. I love this. This might be one of my favorite dresses I've ever gotten from Killstar. It's so good. It's even better than I was expecting. When I saw it online, I loved it. When I got it and put it on, I was like, <sighs> so good. All right, so I was looking on Killstar and I saw that they did something that I have been waiting for. They did an astrology collection, which you know. <sighs> Anyways, I got this Libra t-shirt. This is everything I've ever wanted Killstar to do and more. I am so excited about this. First of all, it says Libra on it, which you know I'm into. Second of all, it has the skeleton on it. It's holding the scales. And then there's a moon in one of the scales and a sun in the other scale. And there's a constellation, stars, magical, everything going on in this t-shirt. And I'm obsessed with it. It is already an oversized t-shirt. So if you're in between sizes, you could go either way. I gotta say small. I love it. It is perfect. Oh, I love this so much. I love it. Okay, I got these earrings, which I am so obsessed with. You're gonna see these and you're gonna be like, what are those? Because they are so magical and witchy and all things magical. But anyways, I saw these and I knew I had to get them. Look at these. Look at them. Just look at it. It's, it's a new moon, obviously right here. I don't know if you can see the face on that, but it is so good. And then it has these dangling things with these stars on it. I have never seen something so magical in my life and mainly as soon as I saw this moon face I was like I already know these are so good. I've never seen anything quite like this. Also they put a little stud thing on it so it's not a hook earring which I love that they did the stud because you can keep it closer to your earlobe. Since this is a heavier earring sometimes with the hook earrings it can make your earlobe sag down and you know pull your hole down <laughs> that sounds really bad um anyways but this one since it is a stud it keeps it closer to your ear and for the most part i prefer the studs anyways i think they're easier to get into my ear but that's just me because i still can't put my earrings in right five thousand years later but what can you do love these earrings obsessed with them <sighs> Next thing I got from Killstar is this hat and you know I had to wear it for the witchy haul because this is the witchiest hat I've ever seen in my entire life and Killstar came through. The brim on this hat is huge and amazing and all things magical. I don't know what else to say about it. Last thing I got from Killstar is this purse bag tote. I don't know. It's all of the things and I... I needed one of these. So I was looking for a bag that was more of a tote bag for my school. This semester, my books have been pretty minimal. Everything's either an ebook or it's a very small kind of book. So I haven't been needing a, like a huge mountain backpack. Like sometimes that's necessary, right? I found this one and I was so excited about it because if you guys go to school, or if you need a work bag and you haven't been able to find anything that's your style that's kind of darker. This one here is like a straight up sea witch tote bag. I like the kind of mixture of textures. There's this kind of sea witch, it almost looks like scales and it's a velvety feel here. Uh, and then it has the patent or vinyl look on the sides and on the handles. And then it has an optional pom-pom, which I actually really love, that comes with it that you can hook. It's like a keychain that you can hook on one of the straps. And then it also comes with this little seashell charm with the keychain. And it says Killstar on the front, it has a pocket in the front. And then on the inside, it is nice and spacious. It has two pockets on one side. One could be for your cell phone, the other one for some pencils or some gum, or I don't know what else you could put in here. It's just thinner, you know? And then on the other side, there's the classic zipper pocket. It also comes with an additional strap, which I have not used yet, but is great for doing an over the shoulder thing or even just carrying it like a normal purse. And you can kind of see based on like the size, how much can fit in there. So I have a couple folders a notebook, I have one of my school books in there, and I think I even have a, yeah, I even have my pouch, like my emergency pouch that has mints and like some tampons I think in there, I don't know. This is like my emergency, uh, and like some Tylenol and some lotion and some sanitizer, that kind of thing. So there's room for that in here as well. 
So I feel like it's just an overall like Mary Poppins type of bag if you're looking for that, but also great for school and or work. Also, I feel like this tote would be amazing for travel. Love that bag so much. All right, so Spencer sent over some stuff after I'd already filmed my Halloween decor video. This isn't even really sponsored by Spencer's. They just sent me some stuff. And I wanted to show it to you guys anyways because A, it's still Halloween time, and B, we like spooky decor all year round. So a lot of this stuff I'm gonna be using for everyday decor. So the first thing they sent me was this pillow, this Ouija board pillow, which I'm loving. I think I'm gonna use this in my office, actually, on my office chair. Uh, but it is just a Ouija board. It says Ouija on it, and it is a pillow, and it is nice and sturdy, perfect for an office pillow to keep my posture up and looking nice. They also sent this super soft fleece blankets. You know, I feel like I just talked about the super soft fleece blankets, and you guys came through with how to keep them super soft by washing them in cold water and hanging them dry. Seriously, you came through because I've ruined like all of my super soft fleece blankets and they're not soft anymore. So now I know how to keep them soft. Uh, so thank you guys for coming through on that like major pro tip. Anyways, they sent this Ouija fleece blanket. I'm not gonna be able to show you the blanket in its entirety because I don't think the screen is big enough for it, but it is just a Ouija board in a super soft fleece blanket, which you know I'm into, I love it. Okay, a couple other things they sent over were these super amazing spell books. Uh, but the first one is this witchcraft book, which I am obsessed with the aesthetic of this book. This is the perfect, this one might have to stay in my office actually. And it's got a bunch of spells on the inside. What I love the most about this book, really, not just the spells and how amazing the aesthetic is on the outside, but the text on the inside, the print, is all in purple, which I love. I also love the illustrations in this book. Look at that, how magical is that? It's like Disneyland castle for witches, which should be a thing if I'm being 100% honest. The other one is also a spell book. This is a thousand and one spells. Love this. Once again, it has the purple print on the inside and it literally has 1001 spells. Regardless, I love these types of books to just kind of flip through and read about, maybe try one or two. The next thing they sent over was this amazing Ouija necklace, which I love. It's got the planchette and it just says Ouija and then it has like the board. So it's like a mixture between the board and the planchette. And what I love the most about this is they left the hole open. So many times I see these types of necklaces that don't leave that hole open and I'm like, oh, that's the whole point, I feel like. I also want to show you some t-shirts that I got from Spencer's. First t-shirt I got was this Exorcist t-shirt, which I love. The Exorcist is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Love this. I'm gonna be wearing this like tomorrow, pretty sure. Love this so much, living for it. I got this Mars Attack shirt. Love this because I love the mixture of this lime green, neon. I don't know, we had this conversation in the Boohoo haul. First of all, I love Mars Attacks. Second of all, I just love the print on this t-shirt. I think it would be a really good mix with a, either like a denim skirt or a kind of like some denim shorts with some tights underneath it to kind of mix up the styles. I don't know. All right, so the last thing I got, I'm secretly geeking out about it, but also publicly geeking out about it because I'm telling you right now, they sent over this glittery lava lamp, which I am obsessed with lava lamps. I don't know if you know this about me. I've never had a glittery lava lamp. I've only had the classic uh, lava lava lamp like with the bubbly lava if you know what I'm talking about I've never had the glittery one so I don't even know what to expect if it's amazing or what by the way my mom probably thinks the makers of lava lamps for babysitting me a good part of my childhood because I love watching that thing for hours like I would just like sit there and wait for it to heat up which took 5,000 hours oh wait well at least it seemed like that when I was a kid but either way all right so that is it for this witchy I don't know what we're gonna call this witchy fashion slash book, slash home decor, haul, slash gifting, slash, I don't know, what do you call this? Unboxing? Like, I don't, I didn't really unbox anything, but I don't even know what to call this, but I had fun. Uh, by the way, everything mentioned in this haul will be listed down in the description box for you. So if you like anything you see, you can click around and shop around or do whatever you want to do. Also, don't forget to head over to my Instagram if you want to enter the giveaway to win some Koi footwear. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey girl, hey down in the comments box because you know I love talking to you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.